Before the video starts, today's shout out winner goes to Cosme. If you guys want a chance to win a shout out in the next video, drop a like and a comment down below, subscribe with notifications on, and I will pick somebody randomly that will be shouted out in my next video. I hope you guys enjoy. Yo, what's going on guys, it's Suki here. We have a lot of stories for today's video, so let's get right into the good stuff you know. The first story is coming from Faceway and Susway. Now, if you guys don't know who Susway is, basically he's a YouTuber, I guess you could say, and he has over 70k subscribers, and if you guys go and look at his channel, you guys will notice that. Sasway is pretty obsessed over Faceway, no pun intended, like his YouTube profile picture is literally Faceway, and same with his Twitter, his Twitter AVI and banner are all related to Faceway. Now you guys might be thinking that this is just a harmless meme and somebody is just trolling, well no actually, this is more than a joke at this point. And the reason why this is a big deal is because Sasway is literally making money off of this, and doing so he is leeching off of Faceway, like most of his videos get over 100k views, he has a support creator code, and the worst part is, he is is selling overpriced shoutouts. So you know he is scamming his quote unquote fans in a way and the person who is not happy about this is obviously Faceway. Faceway wants to get Sasway's YouTube channel terminated and you can't really blame him. Like literally somebody is leeching off of your name and making so much money. So Faceway has all the right to be mad. Sasway tweeted out saying this is the dude who wanted my channel terminated and he posted a picture of Faceway so he's kind of memeing him and stuff you know. Then Faceway dropped all the balls on Sasway. He replied with and that's the dude who made your career and you're biting the hand that made your whole career you should be thanking me just wait and you'll be crying in my dms on god also when Susway was just a meme and he wasn't milking this for money, Faceway actually 1v1 Susway and you know from that, Susway gained a lot of subscribers and that's why Faceway is saying that he made Susway's career. Also at the time I'm making this video, Susway's Twitter is suspended. But let me know what you think of this whole situation. Do you guys think Susway is doing something scummy or do you think Faceway is taking a joke too far? And let me know if you think Susway's YouTube channel should be terminated or not. Drop it in the comment section down below. Our next story is pretty insane guys. And I know I say every story is insane, but this one's actually pretty insane, guys. This one's coming from Exolity. Now, just a little backstory on this. Exolity uploaded a new video to YouTube, and the title is The New Building Meta. And from this video Exolity uploaded, Exolity claims that he found this meta. And you might be thinking to yourself, it's no big deal. Exolity found a new meta, and he decided to make a video on it. Well, no, guys. What Exolity did is actually pretty bad. The thing is, Exolity isn't the one who found this meta. A guy named EJ is the one who found this meta and Exolity completely copied EJ and claimed it as his own. Now I reached out to EJ and I asked him, you found a new meta, then Exolity claimed he found it. And EJ replied with, basically, EJ also said, I found this move about 3 months ago and posted stuff about it. And only recently I've started to gain a bit of a following and I posted an advanced tutorial on it and he legit stole the video word for word. EJ also linked me a video Flea posted on Twitter and in the video, you guys will see how Exolity copied EJ and I will play that for you guys right now. Thality? What the fuck? This ramp dash was found in season 2. So this was found um, a while ago, but only recently I was the first person introduced it into gunfights. This is the first time it's been used in a actual build fight. Alright, the cone dash. Now this one's my personal favorite. Basically just put a, a cone and a Laura here. Yeah, what you want to do is you want to come up to the middle of the cone and basically edit these two squares. You basically have to edit the two side pieces. You can do this one static and you can do it while you're standing still, but it works better running up. But I do it while I'm running. You want to jump then edit. You just run up and then you just shoot like that. So you know, that's not a very far dash. Obviously that was kind of like slow. But if I do a run up, but like if you run, pushes you way further. As you can see, it's even more since you're pretty far and it's pretty practical to do. And I really like this because it's unique and nobody ever does this. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly brush over and how to do a basic ramp dash. The second move is gonna be a ramp and only a couple people were using it to get to zone faster. Like people use this to get to the zone. So what you wanna do is come up, place a flat. So I'd say just below this. Come to just before this horizontal piece of wood in the middle. So like the white, the the line that goes across just about here yeah you just build just before that and you want to be full sprint place the ramp and then jump i just did it did all of them now nobody ever does this <laughs> EJ. 
So you know, it is pretty scummy on what Exolity did to EJ, and Exolity just completely stole this meta and uploaded it, and he didn't even give credit to EJ. The video Exolity uploaded, it has about 300 dislikes, and the comments are absolutely insane on that video. But let me know what you think of this whole situation in the comment section down below. Me personally, what Exolity did is pretty scummy, Exolity should obviously first make a public apology to EJ, and then delete the video he copied off EJ, or give EJ credit. But let me hear your opinion in the comment section down below. The next story is an update from a video I made one week ago, and if you guys remember, I talked about how there's many rumors going around of people saying that Evade Trixie uses a Zim Apex, and if you guys don't know what's going on, I would highly recommend you guys go watch that video first, because I explain everything about this story in that video, and I will leave a link to that video in the description down below. But anyways, after Evade Trixie basically got exposed for using a Zim, a lot of people started questioning him. Evade Trixie said on Twitter, and I quote, I'm currently not going to be online for two days as I'm celebrating Eid. Once I can play again, I will upload a hand cam video, happy to show why you are wrong, and shouldn't jump to conclusions of anecdotal evidence and no actual proof. So Evade Trixie tweeted that out on June 5th, so by now, it has been over a week, and we are still waiting for Evade Trixie to make the hand cam video. One YouTuber who goes by the name Flea, and he has almost 200k subscribers, made a video on Twitter calling out Trixie, and I will play that video for you guys right now. Hey yo Chixie, check this out, ready? You pick up the webcam, you point it at your dick, and you show us them wall edits. Hey, hey, I walk around like that. I don't go on the trigger. I don't walk off you. It's not like you didn't know. I can't look at you. And I'm leaving with a body. If you saw me going from you. So yeah guys, I don't know what's taking Chixie so long to make this hand cam video, and also if you guys remember, Chixie also said on Twitter, since many of you think Eid is just a cover up, and I'm going to practice playing controller in those two days, so you know guys, it has been over a week, we all should have seen the hand cam video from Chixie a long time ago, and now, Chixie hasn't even tweeted in over a week, so I'm not too sure what Chixie is doing, for all we know, he might be practicing playing controller right now, but by him not making the hand cam video, it really does speak for volumes, and we can only infer that Jixie does use a Zim. But when Jixie does come out and makes an explanation regarding this whole situation, I will keep you guys updated. So make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. The last story is pretty sad guys, this one is coming from the Obey Alliance. Now I'm sure most of you guys know what Obey is, but for those who don't, Obey used to be a really big card trick shotting and sniping team. They have almost 700k subscribers on YouTube, and about a year ago, Obey really started focusing on Fortnite. And also if you guys don't know, when Obey started entering the esports team, Obey actually gave majority ownership to Infinite Esports, however something insane happened recently, and Obey actually ended up ending. Another company that goes by the name Immortals Gaming Club, and that company ended up buying Infinite Esports. So in simpler terms, Immortals Gaming Club has ownership to Obey Alliance. So you know at first, Infinite Esports got majority ownership over Obey, then another parent company came in and bought Infinite Esports. Aeolus, who was the former general manager of Obey, he posted a statement on Twitter, and this is what Aeolus had to say. When I accepted the offer from Infinite, I accepted based on the hope that there would finally be more than two people running this org of ours. That was what I was promised and what it started out being. Unfortunately, that's the exact opposite of what it transpired to be in later 2018, and as time progressed it only got ever worse. Instead of receiving help, I have basically been left running Obey with Jaw by ourselves. Whilst I am extremely grateful for the funding Infinite provided Obey, of which enabled us to have this incredible year, it felt short on every other level for the past 8 months. Since Infinite failed to pay Obey any real attention, the brand did not capitalize at all off a stellar year. Whilst I have kept my mouth shut through the months about Obey's relationship with Infinite, I owe it to you guys to know exactly why I've come to this decision. It has been incredible be difficult. Out of everything in this critical time of transition, the thing that frustrates me the most is that, whilst all of this is happening with Infinite, not one person has reached out to me to inform me of where Obey stands in all of this. I have always been somebody that preaches to others to know their value, and so I must practice what I preach. Obey as an organization is still one of the largest content teams that gaming has to offer, and deserves to be valued as such. Unfortunately, this is just the surface of the many issues we experienced as a brand in the past year. So damn guys, it does seem like Infinite made some false promises 
Genesis with Obey Alliance. And as you guys can see on the screen, many people have left Obey. Jaw has also left Obey, and he was also an overall leader of Obey. Also ended up leaving the Obey Alliance. So at this point, there are still a few members left in Obey, and they just want to wait it out and see what happens with the team, you know. There's no official manager of Obey anymore, other than Immortals Gaming Club buying Infinite Esports, which then grants them ownership of Obey. Nobody really knows what's happening with the team. It's kind of just sitting there, you know. A lot of people are saying on Twitter that Obey ended. However, Obey Gylos, who didn't leave Obey, tweeted out saying, Obey isn't ending, just a transitional phase. So, you know, I guess we're gonna have to wait and see as to what happens with the Obey Alliance. But that's all the news for today, guys. If you guys happen to enjoy the video, drop a like and a comment. And if you wanna be kept updated with everything that happens, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. Okay, peace.